then comes the last floating head type which is called as a w type which is called as a externally sealed floating head it is called as externally sealed floating head how it will look like so you can have a look at over here this is tube sheet so tube sheet so here from the tube side fluid is coming it will go on the other side right so this region represents the tube side this region represents the tube side and this tube sheet is sliding against this so whenever there is a high thermal expansion this tube sheet can move towards the right side and come towards left side so how this uh, this externally sealed arrangement will look like so if we have taken the zoom over here this magenta color represents a ring which will be placed over here on one side there is a gland on another side there is another gland so these two glands will be placed inside the pockets or the grooves made inside these flanges and when we are going to tie this then again this uh, ring these two packings will be compressed in this flanges so it is going to avoid the leakage from this side as well as from this side and while designing these two flanges we have to carry out the calculation for the bolt loads for tube side fluid pressure as well as shell side fluid pressure and whatever is maximum and whatever is the maximum temperature for which these two needs to be designed the bolt load needs to be designed and needs to be transferred as well because this side there is a higher pressure this side there is a lower pressure and this flange pair is going to see both this side pressure as well as this side pressure so whatever is maximum that we have to consider in the calculation the pressure and the temperature and then this design needs to be done so how in 3d this will look like externally sealed right so the construction will look like this so this is magenta color representing that ring against which we are going to compress these packings which are shown in black color or a dark gray color so this side represents the channel side fluid or tube side fluid and this side there is a shell side fluid and this tube sheet is common to both on top of it this magenta colors ring will be provided on one side the gland will be there which is going to avoid the leakage from shell side on another side second gland is there which is going to avoid the leakage from channel side so one side there is this gland which is uh, which is arresting shell side uh, leakage and this side are the other other gland is going to this gland is going to avoid the leakage from channel side this represent channel side flange this represent shell side flange so once we are going to tie this bolt then these both the glands will be getting compressed inside this groove and this groove as simple as that and this ring is free it will be placed on top surface of the tube sheet so this will be placed like this then here comes the glands and once we are going to tie the nuts against the studs the both the glands will be getting compressed and that will avoid the leakage from both the sides so this is floating type of construction but it is called as a but it is called as a externally sealed the sealing has been done externally